So in our house we have or used to have two very outdated looking snow clams. One downstairs which is this one and one upstairs which is this one. But that one's actually gone missing so we only have one now. Now this is a massive safety risk for two reasons. One being that we've not got one upstairs and that's where all of the bedrooms are. So that's a massive safety risk. And two, they're outdated anyway. So they could stop working at any moment. I'm not sure if we've even tested them properly. So I thought it was time to replace these with these. So you know what time it is? It's unboxing time. We're gonna be unboxing these two pack alarms, toast proof. That doesn't mean you can put one in the kitchen though. It just means you can't put one in the kitchen, but it won't go off when when you you know when you put a piece of toast in the toaster. Or if, maybe if you burn it, even burn a piece of toast. But I'm not so sure. I'm not sure you are. I mean, I think it's just it, it doesn't go off if you just put a piece of toast in the toaster. So you just make a piece of toast. So Thermo Tech. I think it's Thermo Tech. Thermo Tech. Thermo Thermo Tech. Thermo P Tech technology delivers a fast response to all fire types. Science low battery rear chirps for eight hours. It's, just, it's not going. I think the sims are clumsy. They, they just leave them and they keep on going. They weird, make a weird noise. Five year warranty. That's the exact model number of these. That's all, I think that's just a model lineup. You know the design. This rift is this is the design of smoke alarm. So you know, just that multi sensor, large central test types, then replaceable batteries. So I want to, yep, yeah. replace them after ten years. Let's let's unbox these. I don't think we're going to be setting these off. We're not going to be testing these in this video, but let's unbox them. Get off! Get off! You stupid seal! I hate, I mean, get up, open up, you should be boxed. I hate boxes like this. They never open up. Okay. How the hell do you get this? Okay, you actually have to pull them out. Wait, I swear it's it, I came with two batteries in each smoke alarm. There's smoke alarm number one. And here's smoke alarm, alarm number two. And. Wait, what? Should that back cover have come off? I'm not too sure if that. And that one's on. Uh, I'm not too sure if that should have come off. I'm gonna attempt. No, I'm not gonna attempt to do it on camera. Wait, I think this is broken. Oh my god, it's broke. Wait, if you look at that one. That just goes on like that. If I unscrew it. Oh. Damn it. Wait, how the hell do you clip them back on? I've just clipped that one off. I don't know how the hell you clip them back on. Uh, okay. I don't know how the hell you clip these things. Oh. Well, that one clipped on. Just won't even clip on. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, I think it's, it's something to do with these. Hold on a second. These clips right here. These are sticking up more than these. I think it seems to be the batteries. These some those clips seem to be some clips and circuits. Let me have a read the manuals. So you got all that. Got two manuals which appear to be the exact same. Is it exactly the same? Got some bits to hook that's the ceiling. And I think the downstairs one isn't wired because that might be why it's in that weird cover. Because the upstairs one wasn't in that weird cover which went all the way around it. Those Oh wait, these are the covers. Oh, 
I don't know what you do, you just, just screw them in. Oh yeah, of course I... I know why, but it's, it's just... Here's the batteries. And that, and this more... Honestly, three what? That is... That is so... Three of them and two of those. Okay, um, there's one there. Dublin. I don't know where to go next. I really don't know what to do. I want to see if I get these batteries out of plastic. I want to see if I can do them on camera. Can we get that off? There you go. Right. Um, I'm. I feel like it's gonna go off as soon as. I'm gonna put one in. Let's put the. Let's put the other one in like that. Okay, I think I should probably test them before I meet, I think, yeah, we should probably test them before we actually get put up. If this goes off, I'm going to absolutely freak out. Hold on, let me stop recording. Actually, no, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to pause for now. Okay, so you're not supposed to actually, uh, you're not supposed to actually, I think that one, I don't, know, I don't know why that one's in, I don't think that one's supposed to be in. So you're supposed to, um, these ba putting these batches in won't set it off, I don't think. No. Okay, so they're just flashing, that one just flashed. Doesn't really matter which base plate goes on which. I'm just gonna try. Aha! I just wasn't pushing enough. Simple. Okay. So there. I think, yeah, you're supposed to. So I've just been having read the instructions. It, I think you're supposed to probably test them. How's the store you're supposed to. I don't know. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. But they are flashing, which is good. I'm just going to check both of them are flashing, so that both of them are both of them working. Because I don't think I've seen the other one flash yet. I've just seen that one flash. I don't think I've seen that one flash yet. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I just need, I just need to test them. But I think maybe you not. Maybe you have to install the ceiling first. I'll, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I just saw the other one flash, so they're definitely both working. Well, actually, I've just remembered, I don't know if I'm, we're going to really be installing them too soon. I think this, I, we're going to have to definitely get some, some method of, because that one upstairs is like right above the stairs, so, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Might be a bit hard to get up, so I don't think I'm going to install them today, but I will do an update after we've installed them. I'm going to test them now. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, so we'll be testing them now. I'll give you an update after we've tested them. Okay, actually, I've got the base plates on them. And I, I think the older design of these used to, these used to be black, more black. Yeah, more black than grey, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure these used to be more I think when you when you actually have them when you actually have them up there they they don't look grey at all, they just look white. 
yeah, pretty much white. Maybe they went black and then it's really white and then they've gone to grey now. I'm not too sure. But anyways, this is what they look like. Because I, yeah, I've seen these before. These are very generic looking snow clams. These are everywhere. You see these absolutely everywhere nowadays. Actually, I think... Wait, isn't... Hasn't that button changed? That button might have changed a bit. It might have changed a bit over time, but I don't think... Mostly the design is still original. The season changed in ages, like look at them. Like they, these are so these are just so like you you see these every, everywhere. So nothing nothing really special about them. Yeah, very generic snow clamps. But oh well. These are better than the old ones. Yeah. Fire angels, snow clamps. Yeah, but I mean, I've just, yeah. Right. Yeah, just. If I go, I, yeah, I, I almost want to put a poll up on YouTube, like, see how many people have actually seen these before. But if you've seen these before, this make sure to just like the video. I, I don't know. So. But I guess people people like them anyway. Like it anyway. So, anyways, here they are, in all their glory. The Fire Angel TST six two five Rs, or just a, yeah, that's the exact model. And the main life is just like. And the design this mate this design is st625 these are, these are the tst625 r's so yeah very complex lineup okay well i'm not sure if we've been testing them now hopefully i'll be able to call it testing them but this has just been the unboxing yeah i'll see you later bye